Hello everybody! In today's video I will show you how to create a zip file in ABAP and protect it with a password. So I have already created a program here, but before we have to call another transaction called SM49. With this transaction we can call operating system commands. So we see here a list of defined operating systems and here we create a new one. Click here on new, then we can uh, uh, pick a command name. I pick here set zip underscore encrypt. My operating system is Linux and the operating system command which I will call is zip. So I type here the OS command zip and I check the additional parameters allowed checkbox. Then I click on save and now we can run this. And here we see we call the operating system command zip and I type here minus H for the help. And I run this and we see we have a response from the operating system. We see here some information how to use this command. Okay, so let's copy this zip encrypt command. And now let's begin with the declaration of a variable with data lv command name type sxpg call list name value. And here I paste our command set zip encrypt. Then we call a function module sxpg command check. With this function, we check the permission if we can call this command, this OS command, and so on. So we need here only the command name and the operating system and the exceptions. Here I pass my variable lv command name and here we can do some exception handling but not yet. So let's declare some other variables which we need first the variable for the password. Here I set the password for example test123. Then we need two variables one for the file which I which I want to uh, zip and next the path and file name of the created zip file. So then we open the transaction AL11. Here I uh, picked a path on my application server, the user sub temp path. Here I have already uploaded some CSV files and today I want to zip the spfly.csv. So let's remember the path and the file name. Then go back to the uh, program. And then we can write here the path of my file. It's user sub temp spfly.csv. And we need a path and file name for the zip file, user sub temp spfly.zip. Then we need a variable for the parameters, which we pass for the OS command. It's of type sxpg call list parameters. And then we need the table for the execution protocol. It's type standard table of PTC XPM. So then let's create the param params. I begin with minus J. That means that the zip is packed without the path. Then minus P for the password. Here I pass my password variable. Then I pass the path and file name of my zip file. And last I pass the path and file name of my CSV file. Next we call a function called 
sxpg command execute. Here we need the three exporting parameter command name, additional parameters and operating system and the table execution protocol and the exceptions. So we pass here the LOE command name and here the parameter with my uh, the parameter variable with my parameters and the internal table LT protocol for the execution protocol. So then let's do a simple exception handling. If there is uh, some exceptions, we write an error. And if not, we write zip file created. So let's do a pretty print and activate the code. Okay, got an error here. Okay, let's click on edit. Double click on the error line. Okay, a uh, closed bracket is missing here. So pretty print and activate again. And let's execute the program. Okay, zip file created. So let's have a look to the application server. Let's refresh this view and we see here an spfly.zip file. So let's download this zip file to the local computer. For this I've created a small program. Set application server download with the right path. So let's execute this program and we see the zip file is downloaded, was downloaded. So let's go back to the uh, to the Windows Explorer. Here we have the spfly.zip. So let's double click on it. And then we see there is the CSV file, double click. And now we get the password needed prompt. So we type here our password test123. Click on OK. And after that Excel opens and we see here the data from the CSV file. So that works pretty nice. Uh, next step, let's simulate an error here. So for example, we change the path to an invalid path. So I add a one here and we activate then the code and we run the program again. First, we set here the breakpoint. So let's click on subrc. We see we have here no exception. So let's double click on the LT protocol. And here we have the message from the operating system that there was an error because the file, the path is not found or is, is not exist. So therefore it is also important to always check the execution protocol to see if errors have been reported by the operating system, as in this case with the invalid path. Yes, um, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I'm always happy to get a few likes. Also write something in the comments. I always like to read them and I also reply to them. Take care and see you in the next video.